Nice to see you again. My name is Millie and all week long from the 11th to the 17th, we are celebrating Youth Week here in Queensland. It's our way of acknowledging the positive contributions of young people in our state. Today, we're stepping outside the hospital walls to have a chat with someone really special who has done some amazing things in her youth and continues to work towards a positive change for generations to come. Welcome to Parliament House. This is the heart of the Queensland Government. It's amazing to see where all the leaders for our state make the important decisions. And here's our very special guest. I'd love you all to meet Megan. Thanks, Millie, and thanks to everyone for having me on Juice TV today. Great to be with you. Now, Megan, you're the Minister for Environment, Great Barrier Reef, Science and Youth Affairs. So what does it mean to be a minister? It's a great question. Um, part of my role is to represent Queensland uh, in terms of those portfolios. So what I get to do is create policies and help create regulations um, to make sure that we protect the beautiful environment that we have here in Queensland, our Great Barrier Reef, um, but also provide financial support as well and uh, work with the science industry and advocate as well on behalf of um, the environment, which doesn't have a voice, but also on behalf of young people. And it's a great privilege because when I was first elected to the Queensland Parliament, I was 24 years old. So I was classified as a young person then. I'm not anymore, I'm now 30, but I still um, think that I've got a number of friends who are young people and, and I think it's really important that we young people are a part of the process and that's why I think it's just great that there are so many incredible young people and young organisations across Queensland that are having their say in what our future looks like. That sounds really awesome. When I grow up I either want to be an author or a forensic psychiatrist. Now, when you were younger, did you always dream of being a minister? Uh, no, I definitely didn't. Um, when I was younger, I wanted to be a dance choreographer to start with, and then I changed my mind and I went and did a law degree. But when I was growing up, particularly when I was a lot younger, we hadn't even had a female prime minister. So I didn't realise that it was an opportunity for women in particular to get involved in politics. And so um, over time, I've seen that change and I've been given some opportunities. Um, but um, it's definitely not something that I envisaged when I was little to become a member of parliament but I think it's great that that's changing and more and more young people can um, can hopefully look at people in positions of power and hopefully um, aim to be members of parliament as well and people from all diverse backgrounds because we need our parliaments to represent our community. This week is Youth Week and you're the Minister of Youth Affairs so why do you think this week is so important? I think it's really important that we celebrate the amazing young people that we have here in Queensland and all of the achievements that young people are making. Sometimes um, sometimes the media and other organisations focus on the negatives and I get to see all of the incredible and overwhelming majority of young people doing really, really good things. So I think um, us celebrating Youth Week is really important, but it's also important that we re reflect on the challenges that young people are also still experiencing. It's one of the reasons why recently we've been working with the Office for Youth Affairs, they've been going out and engaging with young people all across the state to just find out what issues are most important to the next generation so that as members of parliament and as ministers we can hopefully fix some of those things. That's really great. Now what kind of things do people do to celebrate in their own way? There's a whole range of things. People can give a shout out online to a young person that they know and acknowledge some of the important work that they've been doing. Uh, we also encourage organisations to acknowledge the young people that might be working with them and for them and, and give them a bit of a shout out. Uh, there's also lots of events that are taking place across the state. So I encourage anyone who wants to uh, go along to one of those events and celebrate to hop online to our Office for Youth Affairs website and check out all of the details. Megan, I want to know more about your youth. So what sort of things brought you joy growing up? Lots of different things. I, um, I used to do dancing when I was younger, so um, going to my dance school on the weekend gave me joy. Hanging out with friends, though, was probably the thing that gave me the most amount of joy. Um, but what about you, Millie? Well, I do have a younger brother, and so my favourite pastime activity is to annoy him <laughs> by singing at the top of my lungs or dancing in his room or all that stuff that older siblings do to their young, the younger siblings. So, yeah, that's what brought me joy is annoying my younger brother. <laughs> I'm an older sibling too, so I feel you. Finally, what's your biggest goal that you want to achieve while you're in office? It's a good question. Um, I suppose from my portfolio's perspective, the biggest thing I want to achieve is taking real and meaningful action on climate change. But my role is uh, bigger than just my portfolio. And so, so I suppose the thing I'd like to achieve uh, by the time that I leave this place is that we have a fairer and better society for the next generation. Thank you so much, Megan. You're so amazing. Now, before we go, would you mind showing me around a little bit? Sure, let's check it out.
So this is where the Premier, Treasurer and Leader of the House sit. And who sits there? The Speaker? This is the Speaker of the House. Could I test it out? You can. <laughs> Let's give this a go. I'm sitting on the throne. This is really cool. <laughs> First point of business, all in favour for more screen time for Millie, say aye. aye. All opposed? <laughs> Excellent, it's agreed then. <laughs> Guys, I think I found my happy place. There's a library right here in Parliament House. Though, I do have a couple of suggestions about some of their books, since they're all about what they talk about in the chamber. If it were up to me, I'd have a little bit more Taylor Jenkins Reid and a little bit more Holly Jackson. So there you have it, guys. Thank you for coming along to Parliament House with us today, and I hope you have a wonderful time celebrating Youth Week in your own unique ways. My name is Millie, and I'll see you guys next time.